Hey guys, before we get to the video, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia. Wanted to do a video on the Honeywell T6 thermostat. Hopefully you can see that okay. We're just going to kind of go through it, go through the setup. I did a video like this on the T4 that seemed to go really well. And some of you guys have been uh, commenting and liking that video. And uh, except I did away with the music. I know some of the, some of the videos y'all weren't happy with the music. The T6 is uh, very similar to some of the other thermostats as far as installation. We did a video on the T10 a while back, and uh, the installation is very similar. It's got that same back plate, but in this video, we're just going to talk about the thermostat itself and uh, go through the setup of it. And uh, basically, the T6 is the big brother, if you will, of the T4. It is a smart thermostat. Uh, it, it also can be connected, uh, let's see, connected by Honeywell Home app. So, um, comes with a five-year professional warranty void if installed by homeowner. So, it says that on the box. As far as opening the box, comes with your manuals. We'll go through that in a minute. Of course, that back plate that I was talking about. And this is the little base that the wires plug into. Stay tuned. I do want to say uh, real quick before we do all this, if you're not sure about something or if you're, you know, never done this before or whatever, um, hire a pro. The couple bucks that you might save by doing it yourself, um, you are putting your system at risk, I would say. Uh, we get calls all the time from homeowners that went to a, you know, a hardware store, bought a thermostat, and now they've done a bunch of damage to their system because they didn't do something right when they installed the thermostat. So uh, I just want to put a little disclaimer out there just saying that. Um, if you're not really sure what, what something means or whatever, hopefully I can help with that in this video. But ultimately, I would recommend hiring a pro. Okay, so again, we've got the same plate. We've done this in some other videos. And basically, we're just gonna pop this booger on here. One of the things I've said it before, I love that Honeywell does is they pretty much keep all the measurements the same with the screws and stuff. So you can, you know, I just took an 8,000 off the wall and now I'm putting this on here and it, it matches right up to the same screw holes. Okay, next we have this uh, cute little discussion here that just literally just clicks right on there. Nice clean look. And then finally we've got our plate here that you put your wires in the middle and then it pops onto the bracket. So one thing about this guy Read your instructions, uh, depending on what type of system you have. You know, you may or may not uh, separate the R and the RC. And there's a bunch of other features there as well. So, you know, definitely read the instructions when it comes to that sort of stuff. But as far as these tabs go, just pushing in on them and sliding in the wires, that's, that's what I like to do. It kind of makes it a little easier. And then after I do that, so let me put the red one in here. I like to pull out on the tab a little bit and just make sure it's nice and seated. You know, you don't have to be a he-man about it, but you do got to make sure it's, you know, making a good connection. And um, so I'm going to just go ahead and put all the rest of these in here and then we'll go through the setup. And again, if you're not sure what these wires go to or what they're designed for, a lot of times it's color to color, you know, R and red. Um, but in some cases, it's not. Uh, some systems don't use blue as their common. 
Uh, some systems use other colors. So it kind of gets back to that, you know, whether or not maybe you should hire a pro. Obviously, you're going to look, look on the other thermostat, the old thermostat that you pulled off, and maybe that'll help you figure out as far as the common goes. But anyway, uh, one other thing in case you're wondering, I do not have a backup heat on this particular system. It's just a heat pump system that um, has no backup heat whatsoever. So that's why there's no white. But anyway, you close that door and then your thermostat will just click right over it. All right. All right, let me go turn on the power. So one thing, just uh, just from st starting out here, uh, one thing I uh, would say that you might notice between the T6 and the T4 is this looks like it's all touchscreen. There's no buttons. There's, you know, so that's pretty cool. So now we're going to go through the setup here, and I'm going to kind of just skim through the, all this real quick. And I think that um, I did a video called Honeywell Definitions that I go through some of this stuff, but I'm going to do it kind of quickly. Now, um, you know, our instructions here talks about, uh, you know, 120. That's talking about what type of scheduling you want to do. Um, I'm not really worried about a schedule right now. No schedule. Okay. And... Uh, Again, the instructions goes through all the this, this setup and stuff as far as scheduling. So if you decide that you do want to run a schedule, definitely check out the instructions. So let's see. Outdoor temperature sensor, no. So that's, it's just asking, 130 is asking if we have an outdoor temperature sensor. 200, we're going to change this to heat pump, done. Uh, again, if you're not sure what type of system you have, hire a pro. Uh, it gives us four options, conventional forced air, heat pump, boiler, or cool only. And, um, you know, I would definitely recommend that. Uh, equipment type, we're looking at air to air, so that's right. 218. Uh, this is another one of those, if you're not sure with your system, um, this is asking for a reversing valve, whether it's O or B. And in summary, pretty much the way to tell that is, for the most part, if you have one of the Medea brands, used to be Ameristar, now I think it's Oxbox, uh, of course Bosch, and then Ream and Rude all use B, okay? If you get that backwards, it's going to run in heat when you're trying to run it in AC and vice versa. Pretty much every other brand, Carrier, Train, Bryant, American Standard, Goodman, Daikin, uh, York, Lennox, all those other brands use O, okay? So we have a Goodman system here, so we're going to just leave it at O. So this says OB on cool. So that means it's going to energize and cooling. And that actually means O. I'm, it's kind of weird how they did that there. But um, basically it's saying it's going to o, OB on cool. It's going to energize it in cooling. So that's what we want for our Goodman system. Compressor stages, just one. Aux E stages, one. Again, I, I don't have that. So I'm going to turn that off. Okay, so 365 is talking about, I'll just say this, and I've said this before, um, you know, there's way smarter people out there that have done YouTube videos than me that talk about, you know, stages and, and how many cycles and all that stuff. To be honest with you, I have been doing this for, let's see, 20 years and I have never changed the factory settings. In residential, I've never had to change the settings as far as the cycles or stages in an hour or anything like that uh, that I can remember. Um, it, we've always just left it at factory settings. That number will change depending on what type of system you have. Of course, we did a heat pump. 
Let's see, indoor sensors. We do not have any indoor sensors. This is talking about ventilation. We do not have anything like that here. Um, and that's it. So finish that up, hit save. One thing, uh, and I'm actually not sure on this T6 yet, but one thing about the T-Series that we've noticed with some of the thermostats in the past is if your power goes out, they were having it to where we had to reset the uh, date every time. Problem with that would be if your power went out and you weren't home and you weren't there to reset the uh, time, you know. And so a lot of you know a lot of times we're we're going ahead and putting batteries in it, so that would alleviate that. Today is the eighth. December 8th of the worst year ever. <laughs> okay, so this is asking whether or not you want to use daylight savings time. We're going to say yes. We're going to stay with a 12-hour format versus 24. And the making of this video, it is 525. I guess you got to hold it all the way down through all the hours. Okay. So just a couple things. Uh, again, we've got our Wi-Fi symbol. If you're looking to set up the Wi-Fi on this thermostat, maybe I'll do another video on that. But uh, for now, um, we're not messing with any of that. Again, it is touchscreen, so we got our mode here. Fan, we want on auto. And that's it. So, if your mode is off, you don't have the plus and minus signs. Just want to point that out. But as soon as we turn that on, they pop up there. That's pretty much it. It's installed, it's working, and uh, you can kind of see how it looks. It's not a bad looking thermostat. I, I like the T-Series myself. I, I've heard other people say other comments, but I like the T-Series. I think it's a clean look and the pricing is uh, pretty competitive. So, okay guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you Again, if you're you know not sure about something, definitely hire a pro. I know it sucks, but, uh, you know, the, 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 the stories I could tell you on when folks, you know, you get to that point and you, <laughs> you go, man, I wish I would have known. I wish I could have told myself, wish I could go back in time and tell myself hire a pro, you know, uh, because of all these different things that can happen. Um, if you're in the market for a new heating and air system, a new thermostat, new, uh, indoor air quality, something to help the air you breathe in your home, give us a call at Griffin Air. We'd love to earn your business. If you're not in our coverage area, definitely check out my new website. Uh, if you're in the market for a new heating and air system, this website's meant to guide you through the process. I put so much stuff on this website that is almost like I wrote a book. And there's even a page called No-No's, Things to Stay Away From. And it, the, the hope and dream, just like a CPA, would help you with your taxes this website is meant to help you with purchasing a heating and air system. I'll put a link to it down in the notes. It's newhvacguide.com. And uh, really appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. Thanks.